So what's been your biggest takeaway from this conversation? I'll go with that I'm an inspiration to top level athletes. And there's Lee's affection coming right out there. I love that. Love I think language. my takeaway will be will be about um, just being aware of how, I don't know what I said earlier, just being aware of how my feelings can affect other people as well. Love that. Uh, and mine is to continue to look through that lens of being on my deathbed. And I'm going to try and do the stoic thing about at the end of the day, reflecting on that um, and having to wanting to have li lived my best life today and being grateful if I wake up tomorrow and to continue to live my best day every day and not to think too far in the future and not do anything about the past, but live for now. Just like you know, Djokovic said about living in that present moment by having a big vision, but you know, living your best life every day. Uh, that for me is going to be the thing. Lens of passing away and being on a deathbed, would I regret anything? So yeah, that's going to be mine. But there you go, Lee. I'm done. Do you want to wrap this Wait, bad are boy we, up? Are we taking Lee's cop-out answer as an answer? <laughs> Oh, okay. No, you know what? Thank you, Ryan. You're absolutely I'm right. Yeah, because there's no, you picked there's up, no you way. Picked up. There's no way he'd well, do Ryan. that if I gave you that cop out answer. There's no way you'd take that. Ryan, well done, mate. Well done for picking him up. Well done, Ryan. Right, go on. I'm gonna have a, an inward takeaway, which is my just. I suppose my own observation on myself as to how much more comfortable I am talking about these things than I was even six months ago, but definitely a few years ago, and how. I so suppose being in these conversations and us pushing ourselves into this space and this mindset by doing this each week has really changed how I am and my comfort with that whole thing. Uh -huh.